there. This video is going to show you an actual example of factorial design where now we're going to test to first see if there's any interaction okay, between two different treatments. And then if there's not, we can continue on with the test. And then we will test to see if the means are different for the rows and then the means are different for the columns. Enjoy. All right, so what we did last was an ANOVA and we had these blocking variables. And we said, well, we weren't really concerned of looking at the critical values on those, but now we actually want to see if we have different categories, if that's actually making a difference. So here it talks about um, children influencing over, having influence over their parents, and you know you do, right? <laughs> Um, and we've broken this down into somebody, of course, with a child, and they could have more than one child in their family, but we're only looking at one. And each of these groups, so notice on the left, these are in groups of the age of the child, okay, that they actually focused on to see if the child influenced them. But then also we're looking at the number of children in the family. So the big difference with this is, as I mentioned in the last video at the beginning, is there could be an actual interaction going on because both of these are going to be treatments, the number of children in the family and then the age of the child. So when you do this, this ANOVA, this is going to be a two-factor with replication. All right, and so we know from everything that we've been doing, we go to data, data analysis, not taking a while to open, huh? And we want to do two-factor with replication in this case. Now, you have to be careful when you select these, because in fact, I'm going to show you what I did the first time. So I went and I did the input range, and so I selected everything. It's asking the rows per sample. Notice that these are in two rows. I mean, I guess you could have put them... Um, straight across, but we only have three categories in this case. So be sure you get the right number of rows. And then here it even said let alpha be 0.05. And then where do I want to output my results? Okay, so I did this in the beginning and I clicked OK and I got an error. All right, so the key is you have to be sure when you're selecting, it understands that you have labels but only that this first row, one, two, three, or more, and then this first column, B. And so when I select this, I need to be careful how I select that I'm only selecting the one row and the one column. All right, and it's still two rows per sample. And so I say, okay, and I get all kinds of nice summary statistics. This is kind of nice because you get all these summary statistics uh, based on each age group. And then I get my actual ANOVA. So what I'm looking at is the most important thing to look at first is looking at, and let me widen this column so you can see this says interaction, is actually look to see if there is some interaction going on. Because if there is, then we don't need to do this test. And as you can see, you can either look at the p-value or you can compare uh, my F observed. Let's actually color code these with my F critical. And we could see that in this case, uh, we, would, we would actually uh, fail to reject the null, okay, because this did not fall in the critical region. And that means we can continue, that there is no interaction between the age group, and the number of kids in the family. All right, so then next we have the, um, we can look at the critical value. Let's actually get a different color here. The critical value for the sample, okay, so the 3.49. And if you forget, sample, co okay, columns. So the sample then are the ages. Okay, so let's let's actually even put that in here. So for the age, then 
notice our observed is greater than the critical, and you can see the very small p-value. So we would definitely reject the null, okay, based on age. And then finally, the last one, we would also look, look at would we be rejecting the null um, based off of, in the columns, the number of children in the family. All right, so we're actually looking then that apparently, since we're rejecting the null, that there is something going on. There is a difference depending on their age, and there's also a difference depending on how many kids are in the family. All right, so um, play around with this one. I'll put this file. I'll, I'll delete this so you just have this actual data so you don't have to retype it to make sure you can actually select the data, do the data analysis, and get the same results that I do.